It's the year 1967 in Fahud, where three Rolls-Royce Avon turbine-driven generators started, marking the beginning of power generation within the petroleum development Oman concession area. Two years later, the first 66 kV overhead transmission line interconnector was constructed from Fahud to Yibal, which was then extended to Al Huesa, providing power supply to all gathering stations in the Yibal area. In 1979, PDO constructed the first power station in Yibal with two Rolls-Royce Avon turbine-driven generators, which became the first power network between Fahud and Yibal power station. By 1980, the first power station was built in Mahmoul in South Oman. Further power expansion followed within the PDO concession area by installing efficient gas turbines, constructing 132 kilovolt interconnectors, substations and the Yibal Integrated Power Control Center. In 1996, PDO linked the north and south of Oman with a more robust and reliable power network followed by PDO's network being connected to the power grid through the Nahada Nizwa 132 kV overhead line in 2001. PDO further expanded these efforts by linking Salala to the national grid through the Hawil Thamrate interconnector. Oil and gas production facilities are heavily dependent on reliable electrical power. From the beginning, we set out to maximize efficiency and build power generation, transmission and distribution systems with the highest global security standards. PDO Power System Generation is a unique system which was developed specifically to serve PDO operation power requirements. Now, PDO Power System sets one of the important backbones of the company ensuring continuous power supply with a global security standard to ensure meeting the shareholders' production target. Being unique in such diverse operation in owning the power generation, transmission and distribution systems. Today, PDO's power system network is the largest in the country and in the Shell group of companies. Our system includes over 4,000 kilometers of 132 kV overhead lines and 1.4 gigawatt of installed capacity, expanding at the rate of 50 to 100 megawatt per year. In addition, PDO Power System facilitates the national power grid by connecting North and South Oman national grid. Moreover, PDO Power System gives support to other third parties companies such as Oxy, BP, and RICO. The power system becomes more important after PDO introducing the enhanced oil recovery projects by converting the gas turbine West Heat Energy to produce steam, which is used on oil production and steam generators. PDO power system has took different initiatives to reduce unit operating cost by retirement of inefficient open cycle power station and the conversion of the existing open cycle to closed cycle gas turbine, CCGT, and as well sharing the spinning reserve with the national grid operated by Oman Electricity Transmission Company, or ATC, to achieve the maximum power efficiency. Proceed with the renewable energy projects, such as the 100 megawatt Amin solar PV plant, which was commissioned in 2020, and the installed 8 megawatt of PV solar in the MAF, aiming to achieve a target of 30% renewable energy contribution to the overall PDO power system capacity by 2025. Our partnership with the government's power system to link north of Oman to Dukum and further to Dofar through PDO's concession area ensures achieving the desired gas consumption per every megawatt produced, leading to maintaining our global top quartile position in energy efficiency. So if you look at the the energy demand globally, it has increased by about 1.3% per annum over the last 10 years, with the exception of the last two years because of COVID, it's dropped to 0.5%. And the same is also true in, in PDO. We used to generate uh, to 700 megawatts of power in 2013, and we reached up to 1,100 megawatts of power in, in 2019. And with the increase in the demand uh, of power also comes an increase in GHG emissions. In fact, 60% of our emissions today is because of the power. But the whole world has changed, the tide has turned, and we are now actually moving and have already started to move towards greener energy supply. 
So about 11% of our installed capacity today is actually from renewables, and we aim to grow that. PDO's journey towards energy excellence is further enhanced with this department's commitment to become a leader in green energy. By 2030, we aim to achieve 50% renewable energy capacity mix. We're looking at everything that we can do to actually increase our renewables, but at the same time looking at how do we make the combustion more efficient as well. So that for every molecule of gas that we burn, we generate more megawatts and less gas. And that is in line with our aspiration of meeting net zero emission of zero by 2050, which is in line with the Paris Agreement, but also very importantly in accordance to the Command 2040 vision of sustaining sustainability and being greener in our power generation. PDO's power system department maintains a leading role in enhancing in-country value through ensuring local procurement maximization, direct award to Omani companies for maintenance contracts, frame agreements and development of Omani small and medium enterprises. The department is leading in omanization and capacity building with a clear strategy aiming to enhance omanization further with a focus on omani capacity building in the power sector and achieving the desired gender balance. For more than 50 years, we have ensured continuous power supply within PDO and beyond, enabling shareholders to reach their targets and contributing to the development of Oman. Petroleum Development Oman proud to serve Oman.